Hey Barflies, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Bar Liquor Reviews, Brew House Reviews. Tonight we're doing a Russian beer, Baltica. And this is their cooler. And if you're not familiar with Baltica at all, they have they start at cooler and then have like a one through nine numbering system for all their different beers, like their lager, their American classic beer, their wheat beer, porters, and such. So we're gonna check this they out. They have one called such? Yes. That's weird. The, cool, <laughs> the cooler is considered their summer type beer for you know their outings to the beach and it's stuff very like that, short so. lived when they actually make this. <laughs> yes. So these guys are 4.7% alcohol and 1.9 fluid ounces, right? Or one, one, well, one pint, one pint nine plus ounces. nine fluid ounces. Yes. Point nine fluid ounces. And which makes perfect sense. <laughs> Look how we do things in the metric system which don't equate properly to ours. It's a good possibility. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Now you have thought of it. Mm -hmm. Way to go, Link. So, either way, this is considered their summer beer. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. I've tried the entire line of these before. I generally enjoy most of their beers. The cooler, I don't remember too much. I remember it being a light, crisp. Well, if you tried all of them, you were probably intoxicated. Or a good chance you were intoxicated. You don't remember. <laughs> it wasn't over the course of one day because I'm not that. The one thing I do remember is the cooler is the only one that has this kind of cool flip top bottle. One thing I'm noticing is the label is actually stuck on. I thought initially it was painted on, which would have been a nice touch. It's a sticker. It's a sticker. Well, hey, whatever. And most beers are a sticker. Right, well, let's try this tab thing. This is, looks like old school, actually. Oh, that had a weird sound to it. Well, this is weird. Oh, oh that's cool. That's pretty cool. They should all do that. <laughs> that's what I said. I loved this after I... Try it on. It makes a great noise too. It does. So does your mom. <laughs> got a sandwich. Really light, light, light color. Oh, dude, that yeah, smells like my dog. <laughs> it really does. King Charles Kevlar. Nick Max. It smells like Max. I've never actually stuck my nose in your dog. Well, if you ever get near a dog, my dog. He's got this beer smell to him. <laughs> you ever rolling your dog around beer? I, I should. <sighs> That's god awful. <laughs> that is terrible. Is that terrible? <laughs> Get it now. Come on. Come on. And it's gone. <laughs> okay. Not great. Not good. <laughs> Not oh horrid. Go, yeah, it is. No, it's, it's a little, um... Terrible? There's no flavor to it, actually. No. It's not even that. It's, it's a bad flavor to it. It's, it's a little bit like, like, like Beast Light. <laughs> <laughs> um... I, I can't even think of a comment for this beer. This is just terrible. It's, it's like I said with the Chinese beer. You don't know how it was handled. This, to me, tastes like something happened to it after the brewing. To me. It doesn't taste like it was handled real well between Russia and New York. It, if he cooked on a boat on the way over here? That's what I'm thinking. That or they made it with water from Chernobyl? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, yeah, I, it's not very good. There is an aftertaste going on in this one. There was an initial taste, too. It wasn't <laughs> good. There was a smell, and it wasn't good. <coughs> it, it's, I remember when I picked these up before. I picked up a couple of each flavor, and these weren't as shady tasting as this is right now. <laughs> they weren't as shady, so those are okay. Yeah, they were. They were okay. They they weren't the top of the bunch. I think the they did the classic American beer mm -hmm. really well, and they did the European lager very well. Mm -hmm. um, their porter and their wheat beer were nah. This is their uh, but, refreshing lager. Yeah. Yes. This is this is supposed to be like their summer version for. And this beer would make me want to attack the Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> to find better beer? You got jokes? Yeah, I'd be desperate to find new beer. You got jokes now, huh? Gross. And what's funny is this is just adjacent from the Ukraine section at Beers of the World. Kind of uh, coincidence, huh? <laughs> well, as they get more What beer, happens if these bottles the start <laughs> taking parts of it? <laughs> And lining their troops up along the aisle there. That could get interesting. But seriously, don't buy this beer. 
Um, or if you do buy it, know that you might get a skunked one or one that's baked in the sun because I don't remember it being this bad when I tried it. We're two it for two on this one so far. They're both bad. I would say, just to be safe, don't buy it. Give it a shot. They're generally pretty cheap. If you're in St. Petersburg and you see this beer, try it there. It might be better because it's Maybe. not good here. It's yeah. They were they were better when I tried them last year. So well, I hope. What so. are you gonna give it a rating as? Uh, zero. Zero. I'll give it a two. But I do. I would have said if it wasn't. There's something going on wrong with it this time. Mm. And before I might have given it like a four. <laughs> like you know, it was just average before. This could actually be the beer that was there last year. It could be too. It's possible. I don't give it a one. Really, no redeeming quality to it. Oh, well, wait. If we're going on Pop Top alone, I give this a 10. Okay, Pop Top is cool. I that does not make it a good product. I give a 10 to the closure of the product. <laughs> All that I give a 1 can't. to what's inside. Well, you can't reclose it. No, this one, you, you can get it back. Not that I really want to. You can't reclose a Heineken either. <laughs> and you can kind of do I would that, open a Heineken. It's like a trebuchet. It's exactly like a trebuchet, but, it's totally different. Except you can throw like wads of paper like we were in You high can't school. throw anything with that. Yeah, you're gonna like throw it off that way. It's gonna fall right there. Yeah. No, this is terrible. And this don't buy this. Bad. Do me a personal favor and don't buy it. And if you do buy it, open it because it's fun to open and then dump it out. Kind of ironic, St. Petersburg, I believe, is where Putin's from. Both are bad and <laughs> we don't want either one of them. No. Either way. If you've tried Baltica before in the past, let us know what you think. If you've had the cooler that hasn't been skunked or baked on a dock somewhere <laughs> and you thought it was decent, let us know. Leave a comment in the section below. Let us know what else you'd like us to try. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the video. Well, I think what we should do right now is actually say what we mean by baked on a dock. A lot of times when these things are imported or exported out of said country, even France to the United States, a lot of times they go through the Caribbean or other hot climate areas and they sit on a dock and they cook in the sun. And that's what I'm thinking is potentially it's either that or it's just long age on this stuff that yeah. made it bad. If you, uh, if you check out our blind tasting of the wines that Link brought us the one time, you'll see one of those yeah. was baked on a dock yeah. and it was not even, you couldn't even touch it. It yeah. was horrible. It was bad. And uh, right after we're done with this, you'll see a link to that video in the credits mm -hmm. and check it out and see what we thought of those blind tastings. And yeah, <laughs> this this has been better in the past, but based on this today, don't, buy, say, it. don't buy it. Try the other Balticas. They are so much better than this. And uh, that's about it. No hey guys, guys. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> hey, can I try some of that? Oh, sure. No, it's, ter it's terrible. You should Please. totally have some. That's good. That's good. Just remember our Russian cosmonaut. Thank you, guys. And, uh, Reminds him of home. Bikini model. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Hey Barflies, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Bar Liquor Reviews. Bjork? We're reviewing Bjork this evening. Oh god. Three, two, one. She dressed up as a seagull. <laughs> it was a swan. It was a swan. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like a pathetic seagull hit by a truck. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. <laughs>